Hi, I'm Margaret Doria and I'm a student here at the UT Health Science Center. We are here at the pediatric room of the Center for Simulation Innovation. The purpose of this video is to introduce you to the Plum IV pump, which is used at the Methodist Hospital, and this will help you with your clinical experiences at the hospital and also with simulation here in the lab. Okay, so first we would prime your IV bag with this tubing which would be your primary IV plumb set, and it's specific to the plumb uh, pump. Okay, so you take this out. All right, so I have your bag here. First, you want to make sure that um, your tubing is clamped so your fluid doesn't flow down the tubing. All right, okay. so we're ready to prime. Make sure to keep, keep everything sterile. Everything so before you start priming your tubing, you want to make sure that you're holding your cassette, which is this one, so that your dome chamber is on top. Okay? All right. So go ahead and squeeze. Or un and unclamp here. And this is your screw here, and it serves like your roller clamp. It regulates the flow of your fluid into the tubing. So go ahead and turn that. Okay. You watch your fluid, and you're waiting for the dome to be filled with fluid right there. Once you see fluid on your dome, we're going to flip the cassette right there. Flip. Once your tubing is all the way primed, you just push into this white screw to stop the flow. Okay, now we're ready to insert the cassette into the machine. So you just pull this up and you hold it like this. You, your white screw goes right into the hole over there. So this just goes in one way. So just, that just slides there. And just pull it down. Right there. Now we're ready to turn the pump on. And it's going to run through a self-check, so we'll just wait for that. Okay, so this is your pump, and you have your hard keys here, which has your start, your stop, on and off, your numbers, your arrows, and your silence button right here. And then you have your soft keys, which is these arrows on top, and these change on the screen depending on what you're doing with your pump. And examples of what you're probably going to see there is back prime, your channel A and B, and options and volume infused here. Okay. All right. So I think we're ready to program our pump. Now that we've connected the tubing to our patient, we're ready to program our primary line. So you'll pick prime, uh, channel A, and this will show up. So you have three variables here. You have rate, volume to be infused, and duration. And you only need to put two variables in, and the third one, the machine calculates it for you. So we'll set our rate at 40 mils per hour and then you just go down to VTBI which means volume to be infused and in the pediatric world we want it to be set to a two hour maximum so at that that's 80 mils per hour and you see how the duration is already calculated for you. So you just go down there and if you want to change your hours or minutes for later you just do the down arrow and it goes to the minute there. All right, so and then you just push your start button. And you see this blinking light here on ch channel A, and that tells you that your fluid is running and flowing. And that's your channel A, your primary line. Okay, now let's go through common interventions that you may do with your pump. So for example, you need to change your volume, say uh, your fluid has gone all in. So again, you'll pick channel A right there. So you'll just go down to volume. See, it's 0 0.2, so we'll change that to another 80 for another two hours. Put that in there and then just click start. Right there. Okay. Now, if we want to change the rate, say we want to change the rate to uh, 50, so kind of similar to the volume, we'll just change that to 50 and then just start it again. Okay. And then finally, if we want to give our patient a bolus, say you got a 
order an order from your doctor to give a bolus, we'll pick again channel A, and say a bolus of 100 mils, you'll go down to volume with your arrows and put 100 mils, and you want to give that over 30 minutes. Now you don't want, you don't want hours, so clear that, then go down to minutes, 30 minutes there, and see how it calculates the rate for you, and just start. Our pump has two channels. Usually the first one is used for primary IV fluids, and the second channel is usually for medications, which come in either a ba bag or a syringe. So your syringe comes from the pharmacy ready to go, but your bag needs to be primed. So we need a piggyback IV, and it says secondary IV set. So that's what you need. And you'll see this hanger, and with this plump pump, you can either use this or not, it doesn't matter. We're not gonna use that for now. So you're ready to prime your tubing. Make sure your clamp, your clamp is clamped all the way. Just open this. So again, clean your hub. 15 seconds. Let's put that in there. Okay. So unclamp this all the way. So select channel B. And again, it says piggyback. Go down to volume. And our bag is 100 mils. And we'll run that in 30 minutes, so go down, then down to minutes, 30 minutes. And that's going to run at 200 mils per hour and start. So let's connect the syringe to the pump. First, we want to make sure we have the right medication for the right patient and there's no air in there. There's no air. And clean the hub, 15 seconds. Keeping everything sterile. That just screws right there. Okay. So we'll select channel B, because that's a secondary line. And it says piggyback, go down to rate. And this is vancomycin. Volume to be infused is 28 mils. Tells you there in the syringe. And vancomycin we give over an hour. So we go one hour. And then just start. Common alarms that you may hear include air, occlusion alarms, or high pressure. So first you want to just push your silence button, read the screen, and if you're unsure, just call your instructor or your RN. Thank you for your time. I hope this video has been helpful.